Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Ah, <laughs> all happy. Okay, in all seriousness, hi you guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is Alex and I'm Yoatsi. Today, because it is spooky season, we're gonna do a video of who's the spookiest. I make jokes when I'm nervous. Okay. Before anybody comes at us and says that we look miserable, because people judge us for like everything, we're tired, but he's more tired because I was falling asleep, putting our baby to sleep. Yeah. So he put Ella to sleep, and he fell asleep. He was falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, so I kind of just woke you up. You want to film, and he's like, "Over." Oh, it's late for us. Because we're parents. We're grandparents. Uh, we're grandparents, <laughs> bitch. So, I just basically wanted to make this video. Alex is just like, "What?" He's like very yeah. confused. But I mainly wanted to make this video because, as you guys know, or some of you don't know, if you don't follow my podcast with Louis Pretty Not Smart, we're I we're gonna be exposing to... Alex. Uh -huh. <laughs> On the podcast, I did talk about our relationship status and that we're both broken up. We broke up like about what? It's been like a month. Yeah. It's been like a month. I feel like I really got to say my end of it on the podcast and Alex didn't really get to say anything. He was just like, okay. So I kind of just wanted to do this video to kind of give you an opportunity to like, I don't know, just share your side if you want. Maybe we can answer some of the questions because I know a lot of people were confused and they didn't even know we were broken up. But other people were like, no, yeah, they've been broken up. Did you not see the podcast? So for my YouTube fam, we haven't broken up for like a month now, but me and Alex are trying to co-parent. So I feel like a lot of people were confused because um, he was just in my my video with like Jack Skellington. And was that like, the only... Like your TikToks and stuff? Yeah, like he'll make <coughs> appearances and he'll be like, why is Alex still there? And like what I did say in the podcast is that me and Alex don't hate each other. We're still civil and we're still like friends. Sorry, and we're, I was all crying. I was like, <laughs> No, we don't hate each other, so he's he's obviously still around. I can't do that. I'm all cozy with that too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like we've been broken up for. So this, oh, is, hella tense, this bro. is my side. You want me to tell my side? Yeah, like you can. Okay, what's just... going on, you guys? This is Alex with Charles Paper and call me. I'm back in another <laughs> video. You guys want to know what's going on? Like, what the fuck? This was our relationship. How about we talk about it rather than me just? No, yeah, and... yeah, no, yeah. But I, okay. I also want you to have an outlet where you get to do your side because. Like I said, on the podcast... Did you not think I was going to do a video? Ah, he's like, so I'm out of here. Catch me on uh, the hot ass YouTube. You guys want to know the tea? No, I'm kidding. No. You're me. I wasn't going to do that. We've been broken up since before she moved into this house. And... I don't know. I'm a pretty honest person. All bullshit aside. Like, I'll take the fault for things getting to where they were. Just because I felt like I was... So invested in trying to be like a better parent. And since it was my first time being a parent, it wasn't my first time being a parent of one. It was a, me being a parent of two. So that consumed a lot of my time and like my mental focus, which was obviously unfortunate for the other party, unfortunately. <clears throat> and that sucks coming from me because like I always wanted to like try to do better in like whatever I can in every area that I can. And being a parent to two babies at once it's crazy. Not only that, but it was like... Like you tried to... Like, like a normal person tries to you, learn to be a parent with one, but you got to. Yes, but you got to be a parent... Of just one. With just one, all the way up to now. So you already knew what was going on with being a parent. And I came into Travis's life what, when he was like, what, four? Aside from that, it's like... She already knew how to be a parent, and I didn't. So I was trying to make sure that I was doing good in that area because like with how my parents raised me they always they put the kids first as it should be they put the kids first and I, I knew that growing up especially since my parents are divorced there's no reason to like point the finger at anyone but myself like I'm not gonna be like oh it's both of our fault like well I just wrong, feel there's... like me and you had an unregular upbringing and like I'm sure I mean we can definitely go into detail maybe another time you guys want ah, you guys love tea but me and alex had kind of like a rough 
beginning. We weren't together when baby Ella was conceived. Hold on. I'm going to set that shit straight. I'm so tired of seeing the stupid comments of, they're only together because the baby. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's because of Alex is only video. with her because the baby. We one had a conversation. No, we had a conversation on live. Yeah. And where it got people took it. People took it way out of context. Yeah. And if you watch the live, how we explained it is how it was. Me and her were talking. We weren't dating. We were messing around. Found out she was pregnant. And, and I, I, I had put Alex through some bullshit, you guys. I found out I was pregnant after he was just like, I'm done with you because I like broke his heart. So then later he found out that I was pregnant with his daughter so then he was just like, fuck. And I was like, let's give this one more chance. And he was like, fine, I'm going to give this. Nah, 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 nah. That was in the time of us being like, we, that's when we were like bumping heads. And we're like, you know what? Like F you to each other. We're out. So we basically were like not talking whatsoever unless I was gone for some time at my, at my place. When I'm done, I'm done. But then she's like, just, you know, I'm pregnant. And I was like, oh, I was like, really? I was like, the mind? You know, like me? And then she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh shit, okay. I was like, fuck, I've never been in that position. Like if I'm ever the one to like cut things off, I cut things off. But it was my first time being in the position of like, oh shit, I'm gonna have a baby. So it was kind of hard for me to be like, all right, I'm gone, fuck you. Like, I, I'm not, I, I, my, like my conscience, I, I couldn't do that. So she didn't say, let's try this one more time. She was like, how about let's just be best friends having a baby. I remember that was the first thing we talked I don't about. I remember that. I remember that's the first thing we talked about because that's what I told my mom. I was like, mom, we're going to be friends with the baby. She, my mom was like, what the fuck? I don't remember that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, that's, that's, how we, that's how we started. Like, we were, we were going to be friends with the baby. You know, you could have said no, right? Said no to what? To the relationship. I did say no to the relationship at first. That's why we were friends with the baby. And then once we started spending a lot of time with each other, once we, we were spending, like, we went from spending no time to, like, I don't think I saw you for, like, a week or two weeks or something like that. Like, very small chit-chat here and there on text. But then you told I me I don't the know. News. I was pregnant, so I just felt like shit the whole time. I was nauseous, like, every day, throwing up, like, yeah. brains all day. So I don't... Basically, she, she told me the news. And then that's when we started getting close again. Or hanging out and, like, being around each other a lot. And I feel like that's when it started to, like, brew. Like, our relationship, our feelings for each other started to, like actually build up for once because it was literally just me and you time all the time me you and travis but as i was trying to say before we got on to, into all of that me and alex didn't have a regular upbringing so we never really had that time to like date when you like when you meet somebody and it's like a fresh connection a fresh relationship you date that person for months or like a year or two years before you're like hey let's get into a relationship me and him didn't really have that time to date because like he said it started brewing and then we got into um a relationship we got into a relationship in january and since then we were just focused on travis our little baby and then we're focused on travis and then we were just focused on trying to make things work and trying to make our family good so when the baby came everything was like good but we didn't really spend a lot of time for us we never did we never did we never really got us time like we didn't go on dates or anything like that and i i think that just kind of continued on to the relationship that we had and now that i think about it i feel like maybe we were just like best friends with a baby now that you put it that way it wasn't really a relationship we were in a relationship but we never really did relationship things like what i would tell alex like one of the main reasons why we broke up that in my head i was like alex you're like an amazing dad because he became in this like last year that we were together he became a phenomenal dad like from a blink of an eye he became the best dad for ella and for travis like number one he deserves a number one best dad award like everybody else bye <laughs> no he's just an amazing dad but he lost the award of best boyfriend. <laughs> there was just no no boyfriend award. I feel like he wasn't just a good boyfriend. 
And I don't think it's the emotional connection because I know we have an emotional connection, right? Yeah. Or we had one. I don't know. Or two. But just like the actions of boyfriendness weren't there. But yeah, we just kind of both lost ourselves in being parents. You're not really being boyfriend and girlfriend and from what i read in the comments are pretty not smart i guess it like happens to a lot of us um because parenting is hard and like the baby should come first babies are the priority but somewhere in there we should still make time for your partner i feel like i tried doing that in like little bits and pieces here and there but obviously it wasn't enough it's not that it wasn't enough it's just yeah, that it was obviously wasn't enough what do you mean well what the fuck? <laughs> i would constantly I mean, if you want me to get into it, because you're not going to just say that and then not let me say my end of it. It's not that it wasn't enough, but I would constantly tell him, like, literally, word for word, what I needed. And he knows this. I would tell him, like, I need this. And he'd be like, no, yeah, yeah, I hear you. And I would still not get what I needed. I, I was literally so verbal with you. And I would tell you, I literally need this. And you would just kind of be like, okay, got it. But then wouldn't do it. And you know that. Yeah. I would tell you that many times. And I don't know, I feel like I was in a pretty shitty spot, like mentally, like throughout more than half of this relationship. Maybe you has you had postpartum depression too. <laughs> cause for a while, remember you, you went like blank for like three months. Sorry, we don't talk loud, it's cause the baby keeps like moving every time he talks cause his yeah. voice is all deep. Okay, basically, I'm a very strong willed person and I like setting my mind to things and being able to like accomplish those things. And I feel like with this really in the midst relationship, it was hard for me to do those things because like, whether it was like a self goal, like in the gym that I wanted to accomplish, or like something when it came to like, well, being a parent is one thing that I wanted to like be better at when it comes to like helping charge with the school, being better with Ella like as much as I can and stuff like that. I was just trying to take everything on at once and then hearing what she needed, I was like, fuck, like, I need to get to that. And I just never got to it, which fucking sucks. For some time, I don't even know what the fuck was happening. I was like, like, here's what I needed to do, and I was, like, trying to get everything around it before I got to the main thing. So if you see us hanging out together, mind your fucking business. Because, <laughs> yeah, we don't hate each other, and, like, today we went to the zoo with his family, and it was cool. And um, he helped me build my Jack Skellington. And the other day we had a movie night and we had him come for a movie night and it was fun. I guess also we wanted to take the time to kind of address the whole like marriage video that fucking blew up on TikTok. And, like everyone and their mom had a whole ass opinion about it. <laughs> yeah, and everyone. It's, it's crazy because like that conversation, I'm sure so many couples have that conversation, but just ours just happened to be on live so everybody and their mom had an opinion i mean some opinions were just so dumb but i mean that's what happens when we're on social media <laughs> which is fine but like damn people took that shit way out of context and it sucked because i don't know people just made it seem as if i didn't want to marry her i don't I'm at, the, I'm at the point of my life i've been at the point of my life where i don't date to I don't date just to date. I date. You don't date to like. Oh, I date for the, see where this goes. You date for like. I date for the long term. I date because I wanna. I see a future with whoever I'm with. I wanna, wanna marry the person that I'm dating. You never had a conversation at a friend's house because people were talking about it. I'm gonna say who. People were talking about it. Like, oh, like what's your guys' ideal like time to get married and stuff like that. And there's numbers everywhere. And she happened to say three. Not not to get married. I I said three years to get engaged. Not married. What the fuck is the difference? And then like six months after that is, is married. It's like a year. It can be a year, like a year and a half. Or <laughs> at least like engaged, you know? Or like at least a promise ring just to know that they're not fucking around. You For not that? one promise ring was said in that in that entire conversation with all of our friends. I know. Not a one word of no, promise no, ring No, no, I'm saying that up. right now. I'm saying that right now. Oh, okay. But I remember we, we like talked about it and I was so confused. I was like three. I was like, damn. I was like, I didn't know that. Well, I didn't care about the number. I was just confused on why there was a number. I'm like, why is it? Why is it? Why is, why is it matter? I was like, what the fuck? I was like, then, like when the time's right, the time's right. Right? And then she like flipped out on me. She was like, well, 
it has to be three. If it's not three, then you're gone. And I was no, like, what? And then later, what I meant to say was, it's not like now that I'm calm and we're both calm, it's not that it needs to be exactly three years, but like, if you're gonna be with me for like five years and you still haven't even given me a promise ring, like the, at that point, I feel like it's just a waste of my time. So look, that's what you're like, saying now. Oh, oh, and what I said back then was if I don't get engaged within three years of a relationship, you're wasting my time. No, you said if, <laughs> if you don't know, if, you, if we're not engaged by three years, bye. And I was like, what? So I was like, how? I was like, how does it go from like, like three years, like the mark of like, like three years the finish line like what the fuck like i don't know i yeah i, I grew up not rushing into anything i feel like a lot of the things that we've been involved in were rushed a lot i think i guess so but i just kind of the whole time i kind of thought what me and you had already talked about and i like we had conversations and how much you expressed that you loved me yeah i had something else in mind so, so with how much i love you if I if if I had the opportunity to, I would marry you right then and there. But I don't. I'm not in a position of in in my life, in area any area of my life where I'm able to provide all those things that I want to provide. So it's like me as a man, I want to be able to provide as much as I can. And if I am not in a position to put a ring on it yet, do all the engagement, do the type of engagement that I want to do. I've talked to people about planning it. I just can't, I'm not, I'm not gonna just expect to like get all this shit for free. I'm not yeah, no, in a position where I can drop all this money right now on all of these things. I would love to do that, but I don't, I'm not in a position in my life where I can do that. Yeah. And you knew that. So I was like, fuck, I was like, well, and in my head, I just thought like, well, if you really want something, you work really hard for it. And it's just kind of like the mindset that I have. And I didn't really see that like effort of like, I really want something, so I'm going to make it happen. At the end of the day, I just feel like we got into a very shitty position in our relationship where we bumped heads a lot. And we would get into arguments about little things. Whether, I don't know, just about like almost everything. Like if she didn't pick up after herself, I would get mad. Or if I left something out, she would get mad. We just started bumping heads a lot and it was stupid. A bunch of stupid little arguments that don't mean anything. But at the time it was just because we were so upset at whatever it was that was going on behind the scenes or like in our own heads and stuff like that. Like she had things that she had a problem with. I had things that I had a problem with. And I don't know, like I always try to reciprocate energy. So if she gave me attitude, I'm gonna give it back. And Obviously, that's just where we would like clash a lot and I fucking sucked because at the end of the day, it kind of just started separating us emotionally and yeah, like, I don't know, it's, it sucked because like, you don't want to argue with the person that like you love, you don't want to argue with your, your significant other and it was just us arguing a lot. We weren't in the right headspace for each other to be good for each other. And yeah, you guys will, might still see us around, might not, I don't know. Hopefully everything goes good with this whole co-parenting co -parent, co thing and hopefully we're still able to be civil with each other for... Well, I don't, I, I don't hate you. Well, I don't hate you either, but you do piss me off. Yeah, and you get me mad too. We reciprocate energy. We do that a lot. <laughs> I don't know, this is your video, I don't know how to yeah, finish it. Yeah, I just it. wanted to just do this video to kind of clear things up and kind of give Alex a spot to talk and say his version and we just kind of give our little versions of what happened but yeah i will see you guys on my next video and my next video will be a lot funner than this one because <laughs> this one was depre vibes and we don't like depre vibes <laughs> but i love you guys and i will see you next